Professor David Ford, thank you for joining us today for an amazing lecture and that for sitting with us for this time of, uh, of reflection. The, the centerpiece of this grant is joy and one of the challenges we've had in this grant from the John Templeton Foundation and one of the charges really is if they're going to study joy across many different disciplines, each of those disciplines is a little handicapped with an understanding of exactly what joy is, but the commitment of the John Templeton Foundation was if we start with theology, this word has been addressed so often in the Hebrew Bible and the New Testament, that we at least have this ground to, to begin to pin down what we mean by the word joy. What, what do you think, what is, what is joy to you? What, what, what is the definition of joy? <laughs> well, I guess, you know, it, it can work in so many different contexts uh, as, a, as a word, you know, in relation to all sorts of things. But I'm thinking of it interpersonally and with God uh, at, at the moment. And uh, in relation to that, it seems to me that it's inseparable from a good relationship. And at the heart of good relationship is understanding and love. And there is nothing quite like the joy of knowing and feeling that you are loved and seeing that happening over time. And it seems to me that that amazement that somebody else loves you and that you reciprocate that and that when, and that can happen between people, it can happen with God. And of course, there's all sorts of joy in creation as well, in beauty and, and, and so forth. I mean, the utter delight that one can have. But I think that uh, one of the things, just because it's often the thing that isn't actually emphasized in this, is uh, I think the, the role your mind has in this, that uh, there is a delight in wisdom and in understanding and in knowledge uh, that I just like to emphasize as well as all the other things. And, um, and I think they're often neglected and that, uh, you know, Aristotle on the wonder of knowing and the d d d delight in understanding things um, is important and I think it's important with God as well. And I think there's a, a wisdom of joy uh, that just stretches our minds and our hearts, our imaginations, our lives. In, and that's, I say the R deliberately because it's corporate, it's not just individual. Um, uh, but in relation to the most wonderful source of joy of all, which is God. Uh, and that when Jesus in John 15 talks about abiding in the vine and having our joy complete, then it seems to me that what he's talking about is a life of constant relationship with the one who is the source of life and a constant abiding in his, wor his words, abiding in us, his love and abiding in his love. And that that's at the heart of the complete joy that John 15 talks about. Now, there's all sorts of other things we can say as well, but it seems to me that's core for me.